Hey, sports, it's in the game. I'm following my favorite team, and these comments are probably going to sound biased because they are. But Brooklyn is a completely different place. Only five minutes outside of Manhattan. It almost feels like a suburb of the city. And the fact that it's culturally relevant, it just feels like Brooklyn is the new place to be. Irving. Well defended to Jordan. Works it up top. Here's Durant for two, and scores. Nice move, Jay. I don't know what halftime evaluation will be worse, the ankles or the bruised ego. Celtics have it. Picked up by the Nets. Pick up that sense of urgency. Here's a chance to break the tie. Kyrie Irving. First couple didn't go. That one is true. The pass was really good, but what I love most about the play, Ed, was that every player that ran in transition had active hands, which means they were active targets. They provided a target for the player to deliver the pass. That's how you work together as teammates. Knock loose. Nets have it. I'm hearing some boos from the crowd. They know just like I know, you're not getting back on D. A lot of contact on that play. He plays through it and scores. He's a modern-day big that plays like a 6-2 guard. Scary. Into the front court, it's Walker. Trailing by four. To Hayward. Uh, passed it off. And look out. Big finish at the rim and no emotion, just that ice-cold stare. That's a sign of somebody who's here to compete. To Irving. Defense! 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 
Durant. His first effort off the mark. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Give it to him. Kemba Walker. Two for two. That's what you want. Here's lesson number one. When you allow a player like that the freedom of space to dance with the ball, there's no telling what kind of break dance move they might hit you with. To Hayward. From the painted area, won't go down. Durant with the basketball up top. He'll run the offense. Knocks it down. That was a tough shot. Look, that shot was going up regardless of what the defender was trying to do. That's called a heat check. Walker into the front court. Down three. To Hayward. That's what you like to see off the pick and roll. Nice, easy basket. I mean, defense, is it that easy? Can I see some reaction after somebody gets an easy dunk? Some yelling, some kind of emotion? I need you to get involved back in this ballgame. And a whistle. He took a chance. That's the right call. Short jumper stays out. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref spit, and that's the game. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Kyrie Irving at the line for a chance at a three-point play. A career 87% from the line. Free throw up and good. Gives him a two-point lead. Ball's controlled by Boston. Walker. Sizing up the defense. Not done yet. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. I don't think I could do that on the five-foot rim. I can, because that's my only choice. <laughs> Kyrie Irving rejects it. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Take coming, take coming. For three, Tatum grabs the board. To Walker, trying to cash in. That's no good. Durant across the timeline. Right now, 12 all. Let's it fly from beyond the arc, off the iron. No good. Oh, working hard there. Collects the rebound and gets it back up for the slam. I mean, with so much talk these days about three-point shooting and the spacing on the court and having versatile athletic wings, sometimes when you have a dominant big man, you keep giving him the ball. You let him be that anomaly. to Hayward. Shot from the lane, won't go. Durant with the basketball up top. It's 14-12. Fires the three. Message received, well defended. Boston with the basketball. Walker, oh, whistle. Ed, you can't lunge like that. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. Knocked loose. Picked up by the Nets. Irving. Durant. Rebound, Ojale. Knocked loose. Nets have it. Durant. Double figures in the first quarter. Now with 10, including that three. And the more and more I watch, I become mesmerized with that follow through. That release is effortless. Knock 
Knocked loose. Picked up by the Nets. Stuffs it down with authority. You can forget about it when he uses that 7-5 wingspan to attack the bucket. Celtics have it. To Cantor. Probing the defense. To Jalen Brown. Nets have it. The first quarter's complete with the Nets in front. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. to Cantor. Off the pro hop, strong footwork. You feel that? I see the confidence building. Kevin Durant with the rock. To Dinwiddie, going to launch beyond the arc. So the first points for him in this first half, and he knocks it down for three. Yeah, they really need him to get going. Really surprised that none of his teammates have been talking to him. This is when he needs him the most. They have to uplift him, help him continue to be confident on the court. Kevin Durant knocked it away. Oh, some fans should take that ball home as a gift. That's a souvenir. To Jalen Brown. And now he's going to shoot a few more as he's fouled going up for it. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. Jalen Brown has got two shots coming. A career 65% free throw shooter. And he connects on the first free throw. Second one off the mark. He goes one for two. To Durant. Count the basket. Two more points in the paint. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. by the Nets. That's called game plan execution to perfection. Every possession on the road is critical. Durant. He's not shy about shooting it from out there, but he misses this time. To Cantor. And the reward, he's going to the line. Aggressive play there, but you can't fault the defender for being up in the shooter. You need to contest shots, each and every one of them. Knocks down the first. Two for two on that trip. Shoot. 
Dinwiddie with the basketball. Lead stance at seven. Gets it in the right corner. Beyond the arc for three. Now that's a contest. Across the timeline, it's Walker. Looking to make something happen. A drive down the lane, but the shot won't go. From long range, won't go down. Walker with the basketball. Right now, down seven. Give it to him. Kemba Walker, three for six now. And here's a next level comment. For you. K Walk is one of the rare guys in the league today that blurs the lines between the streets and the league. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. Celtics have it. To Jalen Brown. Screen coming. Oh, he's denied. Oh, big man doing work right there. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. There are certain guys in this league that should be put on alert status 24 7 because either they're posterizing you or that attempt can still be a poster. Into the front court, it's Walker. Nine point margin. To Cantor. And it's Cantor. He is shooting well. He's made two thirds of his shots. Oh man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with that size. But in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bigs. Give him two points. High percentage. I like that. Man, that may not have been a gimme. But that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Walker into the front court. His team down nine. Jared Allen able to recover with the block. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Here's a chance from long range. That out of his range and no good. Knock loose. Nets have it. Fires the three, and the rebound pulled in by Brown. Throws it down. Now the Nets going to take a timeout as they'll talk things over here in the second quarter. things up hockey line substitutions both teams making changes Irving to Durant lets it fly from long range and Kevin Durant nails it from downtown Ooh, welcome to the new reality positionless basketball bigs are now PG's with the ability to drain threes balls controlled by Boston Green coming, tight space with the crossover. Nothing going here on that drive. Walker, and a bad pass as it's taken away by the Nets. Durant, great defense, forcing the miss. Knocked loose, picked up by the Nets. Durant. He continues to shoot it well from beyond the arc. Gets four threes now in this first half. Yeah, and confidence comes from discipline and training. You can tell that kid's been putting in the time in the gym. Across the timeline, it's Walker. His guy's currently down by 13. DeAndre Jordan ah, tips it. 
out of bounds. Last touch by DeAndre Jordan. Coach is going to shift gears and adjust his matchups. Four for nine. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Durant. Four three. Oh, he couldn't get it to go to Durant. Brooklyn with four to shoot. Irving to Durant. The shot clock expires. Oh, they called the foul. Timing was just a tad bit off. Walker buries it on the catch and shoot. I know there are refs on the court all the time, but it doesn't mean they can see every play. Maybe defensively grab his jersey, step on his toe, do something to kind of change up his pace. Irving. Not easy. Look, that shot was going up regardless of what the defender was trying to do. That's called a heat check. with two seconds to go. Time expires to end the first half. It's been all net so far. in this one. These are the guys getting buckets for the Brooklyn Nets. The Celtics are in need of some changes at the half. They've been scrappy, doing their best to be competitive. We'll see if their efforts are more rewarded in the second half. These are the guys getting buckets for the Boston Celtics. Game track. Defense. The Brooklyn Nets are using defense to create offense and it's coming off blocks and steals. They're putting in work on both ends of the court. Player of the half. Kevin Durant is up in the air swatting shots. When he's not doing that, he's down on the floor making steals. Who wouldn't be impressed by a first half like that? Top plays, and we've got three of them for you. Number two. Number one. And that concludes our halftime report. Thanks for joining us, and see you again after the Boston with the basketball. Nothing going here on that drive. 
Walker. Nice pass to set things up and count the basket inside. All right, you got the first bucket of the second half. Now get a stop because honestly, that's where your troubles were in the first. Durant. They need something to go down. It's no good. Straight on look. Durant to Dinwiddie. Durant. Not that time. His scoring has definitely cooled off, but you have to give the defense some credit. They're denying him the ball and really making him work once he catches it. Jordan. To Durant. To Dinwiddie. The Nets now with four to shoot. For three, he's been dialed in from long distance. That's now five threes for the game. Nothing more painful than the next day watching tape, seeing the fact that he got 15 points off three-point shots. Walker with the basketball. The deficit now up to a dozen. Knock loose. Jordan, Kevin Durant lets it go, works it. Durant can't get that one to go. Lets it fly from beyond the arc, can't connect. Gets it at the top of the key. Durant to Dinwiddie. Durant for the hot shooting night continues. That's his sixth three-pointer of this game. And you got to give him a lot of love. He's been knocking down shot after shot. But what is the defense thinking? Do you want to play in this game? It's probably time you start buckling down. Celtics have it. To Marcus Smart. Knocked loose. Nets have it. Ooh, I think people are leaving already. To Irving. Nice pass to get things going. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Into the front court, it's Walker. His guys down big to Hayward. Knocked loose. Picked up by the Nets. Irving. To Dinwiddie. Durant. Stuffs it down with authority. Man, they are just continuing to pour it on. But the one thing we know about in this league, you have to make sure that you continue to play with energy because leads can evaporate quickly. They're going to make some changes with some new personnel on the floor. To Marcus Smart. Knocks it down from mid-range. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. Kyrie across the timeline. His guys hold a commanding lead. Celtics have it. Nets have it. To Durant. Flushes it home. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. To Marcus Smart. DeAndre Jordan with a piece. Oh, he blocked that with authority. Another chance. Basket's good on the follow. Way to stay with it. Come on, DJ. Give the people what they want. I want that for my screensaver.
to Hayward. The drive right to the basket. Court Hayward. That's how it's done. Not a busy night, but effective. Two for two. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot he won. Brooklyn with the basketball. To Irving. Nothing going here on that drive. Brooklyn with four to shoot. Has a chance. Dinwiddie shot, no good. Top of the key, Irving. Second effort. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. Sometimes when the players find that flow, nobody else needs to touch the ball. He's in a zone by himself. Now the Celtics going to use a timeout as their coaching staff wants to talk things over here in this third quarter. Stevens will change up his lineup. To Cantor, and it's Cantor above the rim. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Ball's controlled by Boston. To Cantor. Tatum. It's good. Defense has to pick things up. Ooh, that confidence level is so superior. Whenever you start jogging back on defense before the ball even goes through the net, that speaks for itself. Kyrie Irving, four out of seven. Simply put, when the ball's in Kyrie Irving's hands, magic could happen. It's poetry in motion, and it's a situation in which the ball is attached to his body. He has it on a yo-yo. He can put the ball and dangle the ball out there for other people to think they have a chance, and in their mind, they do, but in Kyrie's mind, the game's over. Buries the three. And Ed, when you have seven footers roaming the perimeter who shoot over 40% from the three-point line, why take twos? All five can shoot it at any given time. Here we go. Here we go. Cut it. Cut Here comes the screen. The pass set it all up. Deep three at the buzzer. Three quarters down. The fourth quarter coming up. And the Nets enjoying some breathing room. basketball here as we start the fourth quarter and this one Jay not totally in the win column yet but with a double digit lead you have to like their chances I love when I start seeing fans exit the arena so early in this game and I hear people say this one should be in the bag well guess what it's never a guarantee you have to be careful not to slow down the pace of the game and take the air out of the basketball you have to put your foot on the gas and try to win this game with a sense of urgency Walker into the front court down a bundle Short jumper misses. Fires the three. Not that time. He misses. To Kemba Walker. 
It's good. Count the basket and the foul. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Kemba Walker trying to cash in on a three-point play. A career 83% free throw shooter. Brooklyn's got it. Irving. It goes down. Well, the shooting has been spectacular, but one of the things that I've seen as the difference maker in this ballgame is how they are catching the basketball. They're not establishing a pivot foot, which leaves the defense wondering which way you can drive. But when that shot is working like that, you got it any way you want it. Irving into the front court. His guys holding the big lead. Gets it in the left corner. Going to launch beyond the arc. That won't go. Across the timeline, it's Walker. He'll run the offense. Off the mark. The Nets now with four to shoot. Beyond the arc for three. Not that time. Ah, scary sight. DeAndre Jordan with the putback slam. That's a DJ we all know and love. Mm. Timeout Boston, as they'll make sure they're all on the same page here in the fourth quarter. teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. DeAndre Jordan snatching it out of the air. Too much contact and free throws coming. Sometimes when you get up big, you get a little careless. But attention to detail through the end, that's how you avoid unnecessary fouls. Oops, he missed the first one. Oh, he missed on a pair. To Durant. From long range. That right there, Jay, his eighth three of the game. He is putting on a show. He's defying physics with that jumper. He's not even holding his foul through. Dre Jordan sends it away. Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. Durant. The hot night continues. He's at nine threes here tonight. Uh-oh. Someone's getting towards that single game record territory. He's having that kind of night. Walker with the basketball. Looking to make something happen. DeAndre Jordan swats it. Out of bounds. Last touch by DeAndre Jordan. He's going to play the matchup. Brad Stevens making some moves. Count the bucket for two. Just a ball handling wizard. Still putting people under his spell. Mm. Nets have the basketball. Irving. To Durant. Jordan. To Hollis Jefferson. Using the post to his advantage there. And the finish at the rim. At this point, if it continues, it just may be good night, Irene. And some, ooh, I like that Irene line. There you go, Jay. And sometimes as a player on a defensive end, Ed, you need to draw a line in the sand. You have to find a way to change the narrative. Because right now, the constant theme has been too many easy buckets. Jay, don't deny it. You're an old soul at heart. Yeah, I still don't know who Irene is. Me neither. 
Has a look. Off the mark. He loves the... My goodness! Did you see that, Jay? That's nasty. Don't, don't... Mm, just disrespectful. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. To Durant. Brooklyn with four to shoot. Durant to Hollis Jefferson. And two points to the board. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Boston with the basketball. Gordon Hayward, that's how it's done. Very efficient and making an impact. He's three for three. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Durant. Trying for a 40-point night, but it's off the mark. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Durant. Ten threes for him now in the game, Jay. Just astonishing. And I can't believe what I'm seeing. It's only happened 30-something times since the three-point line went into effect in 1979. Goes to show you how big of a night he's having. How old were you back then? I was not born yet, my friend. Boom, baby. Knocked loose. Picked up by the Nets. That's all she wrote. Dribble it out. And the two. Counted at the rim for DeAndre Jordan. It just seems like nobody can stop him but him. Once he's found his offensive swag, that boy's deadly. Celtics have it. Short jumper stays out. Durant. I don't know, Jay. They have a big lead. This game is just about over. He might not make many friends on the other side with that three. Oh, I don't want to hear that generic coaching speak about dwindle down the shot clock, use the clock, the clock is your friend. No, if you have a chance to beat him by 50, beat him by 50. If you want to beat him by 100, keep shooting more threes. Driving right to the basket. In a flash, scores at the rim. It's almost like he had the defender on a string, and he's the puppet master. <laughs> Slam dunk for Hollis Jefferson. And cutting hard in transition is one of the most underrated things about this game. The harder you can cut is the more it opens up the floor to make plays just like that. And Jordan able to secure the rebound. The game is won in the details. The team who has the most attention to the minutia is a team that wins the ball game. And from the beginning of this game, this team has been mentally engaged. I know the season's a long year, but when you come mentally engaged and you have attention to detail, whoop, that's a scary thing to watch. It's the Nets who are victorious as they cruise to win a game that was never really in doubt. That'll wrap things up. For Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. It wasn't surprising to see this team get the win. They did a great job of letting the fundamentals of basketball be the key to success. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Brooklyn Nets. The Celtics seemed to give up on this game as it got more challenging. Losses like this become main discussion topics in the media. So hopefully this team is ready to answer the tough questions. It's not gonna be fun. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Boston Celtics. Game track. Second chance points. Player of the
the game. Kevin Durant gets the award for the most obvious reason, and that's his scoring output. He couldn't be stopped, and it was incredible to watch. We had picked them for you. Here are the top plays. Number two. Number one. That does it for us. On behalf of the rest of the crew, good night.